Hello everyone, welcome to our channel Code with Sunny and in this video we will be talking about the problem Maximum split of positive even integers, it is the medium problem of the bi-weekly contest uh, 72 Ok, so we would be given an integer final sum and we have to split it into a sum of maximum number of unique positive even integers Ok, so there are a few of the things that you need to take care about that that is we need to find the maximum number of unique integers first of all and that inti uh, that integers would be a positive even integers right like 2 4 6 8 that so on okay so if final sum is 12 the following splits are valid you can see uh, 12 can be represented as a sum of even e integers positive even unique integers 210 246 or 4 8 and so on it may be uh, like many cases I don't care but uh, we need to find out the general solution how we are going to do that okay you can see there are also solutions like 2 2 4 4 like if you find out the sum it would come out to be 12 but you can see there is a repetition of 2 over here and also the repetition of 4 so this uh, uh, set is not valid we need to have the unique positive even integers return a list of integers that represent a valid split containing a maximum number of integers if no valid split exists for final sum return an empty list you may return the integers in any order ok so maximum value of final sum is this one ok so we need to generate the uh, integer, integers ok so let's uh, take an example and understand how this is going to be done so this is 12 which is our final sum ok and uh, you uh, we have the set of integers positive even integers as 2 4 6 8 and so on ok so uh, we need to uh, also uh, remember the fact that we need to take unique even integers even integers ok let's, so let me underline this term unique ok so uh, can you just tell me that uh, like you would also think upon that uh, what about uh, like we need to maximize the number of unique integers right so what about if you take all the integers uh, like positive even integers conti uh, like uh, that are uh, like consecutive like uh, 2 then 4 then 6 then 8 it should be like 2 take this 2 then the next consecutive positive even integer is 4 take this 4 and take this 6 and so on then take this 8 ok so let's say we are going to say that we have this value 12 so what I am going to do is like I will take the uh, consecutive positive even integers one by one because we need to uh, find all the unique integers first of all as well as we need to maximize maximize the set chosen ok so the set that we are going to choose we need to maximize that so to maximize the set we will choose all those uh, consecutive positive even integers that are present ok so starting from the minimum so we will choose 2 then we will choose 4 then as soon as we will choose 6 you can see this set sum of this set is 12 which is matching with this one ok so in that case uh, you can see easily see that we need to stop over this position as we will stop over this position the maximum set maximum size of this set that is exactly equal to 3 ok so whenever you will just sum up all those consecutive positive even integers you will always end with some value and if that value unfortunately coincides with the final sum that is uh, let's say uh, yeah that let us let's make this uh, some more tricky suppose uh, uh, the coincidence of this sum with the final sum occurs at uh, let's say uh, then if uh, 30 let's say final sum is 30 
uh, we will have this coincidence at this position so we will choose the integers as 2 4 6 you can see sum up to this is actually 12 when you will append it 8 the sum will become 20 then we when you will append 10 the sum up to this position becomes 30 so when sum becomes 30 you will stop at this position and this is the maximum size of this set of set which is actually 5 right ok so these are some specific numbers uh, that we are going to choose so there are many doubts that you can get that is like why we are choosing only the consecutive integers like 2 4 6 8 10 12 like that why not to choose uh, like if you are working upon 12 you can choose like uh, some uh, like 4 and 8 it also brings 12 right but we are not doing that we are doing uh, choosing the integers consecutively like positive even integers so the reason is like we need to maximize the set and to maximize the set we will choose all those integers starting from the beginning one okay and uh, yeah so uh, one more doubt that uh, arrives in your mind is like yes you have talked about 12 and 30 right so let me encircle these first uh, like I have talked about 12 and I have talked about 30 what about the numbers that are in between 12 and 30 okay so let me take an example that is uh, already present over the sample test case also that is final sum of final sum is 28 okay so as I've already said we will start always with the all those integers with the uh, minimum one two four six uh, you can see sum up to this is 8 and when you append 8 sum up to this is 20 right this entire set but as you will append 10 you can see sum is 30 but this value is strictly greater than 28 so it means that you need to uh, like uh, you need to remove some value like you uh, the insertion of this value 10 is not optimal over here because it makes the sum strictly greater than the final sum so it means that you need to adjust one of those values so that the sum of the set that is being chosen will exactly coincide with this final sum now the thing is let me say uh, this value is not optimal ok so what is the thing that we are going to do over here is uh, like this is not optimal so we have the current set that is valid is 2468 ok and we need to insert one more value such that the sum is exactly equal to the final sum ok so what is the required value so we will write required value is actually final sum minus the current sum current sum so you can see the final sum is 28 and the current sum is 20 which is actually 8 ok so when you will append 8 over here you can see still the value is a repetition of the already chosen set since we need to choose unique integers you cannot choose this 8 so how to manage that so what I am going to do is I will extract this value 8 so it would become 246 when it becomes 246 what is the sum that we have over here is actually uh, 12 and let's find out the required value r value final sum 28 minus 12 which is 16 so it means that appending 16 to this value is optimal so whenever uh, you will find out the sum of consecutive integers until the sum is strict uh, less than or equal to the final sum and when you will end up with the value sum strictly greater than the final sum then you will discard this value that is the current value and you will also discard the uh, last input value okay uh, when you will discard that you will end up with certain set of integers then find out the required value and then insert back into this position this will always give you all test all test cases passed because when you uh, like some sum is not valid when you will insert the required value 
it has a repetition over here you can see you will inserting 8 this 8 is already present so in that case you will pop out the largest value and insert the required sum which is final sum minus the current sum of this chosen set note that you need to discard the current value also and discard this value also okay so this is one of the answers 2 4 6 and 16 is a valid answer there can be multiple answers also if you look out this one you can see 28 has the answer as 6 8 2 12 which is not matching with this one but yes it is also correct since uh, this set uh, size of this set is 4 and the set size of mine is also 4 and we, you, uh, we need to consider uh, focus over the size of the set not the values inside the set so let's learn how to implement that so if final sum is odd we need to return this empty vector denoting that there doesn't exist any valid answer uh, how I have done this uh, calculation like final sum is an odd then uh, we will return an empty vector so what is the idea of doing that so it is very much simple right so when you will sum up this 2 4 6 8 I, any value 16 32 or anything you can see this entire sum is a multiple of 2 always multiple of 2 since we are summing up only even integers so the its final sum must be a multiple of 2 that is it must be an even number so if it is an odd number we need to return an empty vector so let's fill out the answers and uh, the starting value is i equal to 2 and the sum now taken is 0 so we will check it out if we can include this value of i or not into our chosen set that is sum plus i must be less than or equal to final sum then we will push back the answer and we will also increment the sum and we will change the value of i right and yes uh, when this all iteration will stop there are two conditions whether your sum is exactly equal to the final sum or your sum is not equal to the final sum when your sum is ex equal to the final sum we are done if the sum is not equal to the final sum we need to adjust one element right such that the sum matches with the final sum as i've already said the last value is already discarded and also we need to pop out one more value and if this value is popped out you need to also change the sum so the sum will be decremented by i minus 2 because we are having a plus 2 over here so that's why I am going to decrement by i minus 2 or you can also write like this one sum minus equal to answer dot back you can also write this one because answer dot back will store the last value and answer dot pop back okay and yeah and the value that you need to insert is final sum minus sum which is also an even integer and it is a unique so let's submit this i think yeah this will work fine okay so yeah if you guys still have any doubts do let me know in the comment section of the video and thank you for watching this video